So I come from, I would say the YouTube generation. I grew up with YouTube. I know for a fact, all my family members, they, they follow different people based on what they're interested in. I'm interested in video. That's why I also create YouTube videos. I love learning and that is what inspires me. Also, when I make work for clients, I think about, is this gonna be entertaining? Are people gonna watch this? Are, are they gonna click away? And I want them to stick through the whole video as much as possible. And that has come through YouTube because anyone who creates content on YouTube is thinking about how do you keep people watching your stuff and keep on returning. So I try to bring that into all my work. I get my inspiration mostly from movies and narrative work like short documentaries. I love when a normal human being is the center of attention and all of a sudden just because you're looking at them and you're understanding them, they, their life becomes important, they become significant and I think that's what we all want. We want to matter. You can take any human being and you can put a lens on them and, and they become the center of attention and all of a sudden their life is interesting and matters. And I wanna do that through the stuff I create. My YouTube videos have focused primarily on being educational. Uh, lately this year I decided I need to be a little bit more entertaining and that's been hard because I don't, you know, we don't all have an over the top personality where like Peter McKinnon or something like that. I'm much more relaxed, laid back. I do have a sense of humor and it. it sometimes doesn't come across just because maybe, you know, once you turn on the camera, you're, you become a different person. So I'm trying to be more myself, let all of my quirks come out and hopefully that's entertaining to people. So there's always that resistance to create. And I think Steven Pressfield does a great job of explaining that any, anyone who does creative work, it's always gonna have that voice inside their head that says, that's not good enough. Who are you to create? Uh, that you're not a professional, but it's through pushing through those, you know, the, those mental struggles that you get good. You can't get good unless you produce work. So for me it has been just producing work. Even if I don't completely feel good about the end result, I understand I'm comparing myself to the professionals, the high end, the people that have been doing it for way more years than I have. There's a balance between having a good taste and also producing work, even if it's not at the level you want. It's just a matter of staying consistent.